This is a special weekend in Sarasota, Booker High School reunion. Uh, life goes on, but the memories uh, cannot be taken away. Talk a little bit about the class of 68 and how special it is and what it's like to see some of those faces this weekend. Most of us have changed very little. Personalities don't really change just because the calendar does. And we're very grateful that we're still a team. We were part of a team. We were the largest graduating class ever from Booker Elementary when we went to seventh grade. At that time, Booker High School was seven through 12. It was Booker Junior Senior High School. This is before we had middle schools anywhere in Sarasota. And uh, everybody of pigmentation uh, was at Booker if you were in Sarasota County. Didn't matter whether you lived in Venice, whether you lived in Bee Ridge, whether you lived in Newtown, you were at Booker School. So we were a close-knit community then, and we're all still very close, very close. You have a banquet coming up this evening, and when you have reunions and, and occasions uh, where you can maybe see someone you haven't come across in years, how special is that? It's enlightening because we have, some of us have aged more gracefully than others of us, but we have all aged and just seeing the differences in different people, those who were popular then, what they're doing now. Some of us have attended every reunion from, and we do this every five years now, uh, but many of us have not and seeing somebody you haven't seen in 10 15 years makes a big difference and and many people now are generational you know those who went to fam those who went to bcc those who went uh even to fsu because things changed and privileges were suddenly part of the regular school day but we were the first class to desegregate Sarasota County. Talk a little bit about being a history maker, a trailblazer, and, and, and uh, you know, it's got to be a, a special thing to have a defining moment, uh, or at least one of them, uh, like you've been through. One of the defining moments was not listening to those who said you cannot, you should not making up your own mind, doing your own thing, and having not only parental encouragement, but community encouragement. And that's one of the things that's lacking right now, I see in society in general. We're too fragmented, too fragmented. We're all one, and we've got to remember that. If the boat sinks, we all drown. And I think we're eventually going to get back to that. But uh, what you learned at the knee, at Mama's knee, at Grandmama's knee, is still what you need to know. And now that we are the Mamas and Grandmamas, we're the teachers. Thank you.